Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, here with a, another knife unboxing. Um, not a new knife, uh, new to me, uh, but used. I bought it off of, uh, off of Facebook, so let's check it out together using my Umnumzon Tonto um, that I got with that awesome wicked edge on there. Showing a little bit of wear now that I've been using it, but I definitely use this knife. So actually, you know what? This thing kind of looks, kind of looks like it was not open, thankfully, but man, pretty close. I definitely want to stick some tape on there. I'm not going to mention who I got this from, just in case he doesn't want his name on here, but uh, make sure you want to throw some tape on there so it's not so easy to open. But I do appreciate it, and I'm excited to get this knife in hand. So by the title, you guys all know what this is. This is the Slice uh, Bowie. This is the Knife Joy exclusive. So most of you guys know that this original, uh, this knife in its original form came in... Um, a uh, kind of a oh what would it be called a uh, stone washed titanium gray titanium and the knife joy exclusive version comes in this uh, anodized blue which a lot of people have complained about um, I don't really care that much to be honest I know the anodization wasn't very good you can see right there um, I think I could make it look a little bit better with some WD-40 but the anno job just was I guess pretty terrible um, and you can kind of see see there this one's got a little bit of wear it was used to, but it's supposedly in really good condition so oh yeah that thing's smooth as glass let's check out the edge plenty of life left in that edge a little bit of wear right here but not too bad i'm gonna get a, a mirror edge put on it anyways let's check the side to side play don't feel any lock up is solid smooth centering is perfect yeah, this thing is glassy smooth. I mean, I've had um, several of the old ones. Um, at one point, I had three of the old ones. I ended up selling them all. The price just kind of went insane. And they're a very, very nice knife. Um, don't go pay $700 for them, guys, um, unless you just have money to do. You, know, you just have to have one, then you do you. But in my opinion, they're two slabs of titanium and a, a G10 backspacer riding on phosphor bronze washers. And uh, the steel's good. This one's the M390. The original was C CTSX HP. They're great knives, don't get me wrong. That's why I wanted this one, and I got a really, really, really good deal on it um, and too good of a deal to pass up, so I'm super happy to have it. But at the end of the day, guys, they're still... What, what do they cost now? I think I think they cost... The originally the price from Knife Joy was I think maybe four hundred. I could be wrong on that, but I know they were more than the original OG version that is crazy expensive now. Um, and so, um, and you're getting you know you're getting M three ninety, which is a little bit better still versus the CTSX HP. It's not coming with that really beautiful stone wash like polished stone washing. It's coming with this satin um, finish, which is okay. It's not as good as the original, but it looks decent. Um, so if you can find these these guys, pick them up secondhand. That's what I would do. Um, I wouldn't pay the ridiculous prices for the OG one again, unless you just you have the means to do it and you, it's just something you got to have. Um, but yeah, I sold mine when the prices just got crazy, and I've kind of wanted one ever since, um, but not for that price. And so when these came out, I was really intrigued, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. They, people didn't seem to kind of fall in love with them. They, they were at first, and they sold pretty quickly. But once people got them in the hand, they saw the anode job wasn't very good, um, like you can see here. Then they kind of lost some steam, and now you can pick them up for a decent price if you're if you're quick. They do seem to go pretty quick, but they don't seem to hold their value as well. So, like I said, I got a killer good deal on this one, and I really do appreciate it to the guy who sold it to me. If you see this video, um, it's exactly like you described. So no problems there, and it's perfectly centered. So I, my plans are to put a mirror polish edge on this thing and i'm going to make it a user it's going to be a user for me let's check the side to side play without the lock bar oh it's perfect and uh yeah it's great i like it i really like it guys i love this design it's a great knife it feels it just feels great in hand it, it, it's got that um sabenza chris reeve type quality to where the handle is kind of there's not a lot of funkiness going on, e even more with this. And, the, and the, the, the handles are contoured, the scales are contoured, so they just really, really, that rounding really, really fits your hand well. And there's just not a lot of funkiness. It just, it just feels good, it works good. You can flick it out real fast. 
Uh, it's got great action, no bearings to worry about, just like with Chris Reeve products. Uh, you just got that phosphor bronze and it works. The lockup is work, it works and silky smooth. Um, action and detent and um, it's not very heavy. It's pretty lightweight. It's got that deep carry wire clip, which I absolutely love, love, love on Spydercos. Um, it just works so well. Yeah, it's not like a mill titanium clip or anything and it doesn't look that special, but man, it fits, it works so well. It's got just enough to hold it in place. Um, but man, and it, and it just rides so deep. So this is just a great user, a great carry knife. I kind of wonder how many guys have the original that are afraid to use it because it's worth so much, you know, and I don't, and I don't blame them, you know, that value proposition. It's hard to want to use something that's appreciated in value. Um, and use it hard again unless you know you have the means and um, a lot of people don't so I'm glad I got into this one I'm glad it's got some wear and tear on it already so I don't have to worry about it that's awesome to me um, and I can just carry it and use it and not not uh, worry about damaging a high value item that's appreciated like crazy so um, yeah guys let me know what your thoughts are I know that some people have kind of dogged on these just because the anno but the blue is okay. I, I would rather them just honestly just come out with the OG version, even if they were still going to do the satin finish and not the really pretty stone wash. Just come out with the grayscales and just keep selling it. That knife, I think, was underappreciated when you could get them easily. And then as soon as it was discontinued, people realized what a gem they were. Um, not to use Nick Shabazz language, but... Um, and, you know, now you can't get one unless you pay crazy prices. So I feel like if they just came out and made it again... Um, yeah, it would, you know, some of those prices would go down, um, and some guys looking to just flip might get mad, but I think there's a, definitely a desire for those, and that's why they did this, obviously, but with the anodization, or maybe just do an anode job that's not so bad, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that does exist, or, you know, figure something out, um, but there's definitely, people want this knife, and this is one of those, it's kind of like the Benchmade 940, in my opinion, that, they're, people are always going to buy 940s. They're always going to buy that reserve, reverse Tonto, thin blade, easy to carry, lightweight, usable for anything knife. And I kind of feel like this is this could be a good candidate for that, something that Spider Co. just always has. And Because um, I, I know I, if they come out with lots of different colors, I might buy more if they were not crazy expensive, you know, if they were MSRP. So... They are a really killer design and that blade shape, that upswept kind of bowy blade shape is so usable, comfortable. The jimping is comfortable. Maker's Mark is awesome. These are obviously made in Taiwan. Um, so these are their upper scale, the upper scale spider is definitely not their entry level stuff. Uh, so yeah, great knife guys. Sorry I keep rambling, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you on the next video.